happily ever after. My name is Richard Crowling, and I am a multidisciplinary artist who makes films of all sorts from traditional, not so traditional narratives to um, video art, media art, sound design, painting, poetry. The expansion of language allows us to, in some ways, I think the role of the artist, or at least traditionally might have been, to be part of this cultural phenomena of re-understanding or re-examining or re-exploring, exploring new uh, realms of the possible. You know, it reminds me of those old John Ford Western films where they had Native American uh, uh, on horseback. Um, they were um, guiding the Canastoga wagons, fearful of moving ahead into the unknown. So they had two Native American Indian guides who would go on up ahead to see what the shape of and the levels of danger uh, for the uh, white settlers moving westward into the American abyss. And either they would come back with good news or just their horses would come back, which means not good. And I always think that is in some way what the exploration of the limits of language are for an artist, um, is to go on up ahead and to test uh, uh, new ideas and new shapes, new forms, into the realm of the possible. I think the art process uh, is a way of both looking at memory and uh, examining things in our past, but also looking up ahead and looking at the emergent huge things that exist in our world. Again, it's very different. We're living in a world now for the first time in human history, which we ha have no idea what 25 years from now is. I use the word emergence, uh, it comes out of, you know, chaos theory, the idea that as a system becomes more complex and there are more elements uh, bumping into each other, newer things emerge out of the present. The future emerges out of the present in ways that it never was possible when there was less comple complexity. Imagine a shoebox. And the shoebox has, um, you know, 31 red and green ping pong balls. And they bounce into each other. Each time a red ball hits a green, a blue ball emerges. Imagine if you doubled the ping pong balls. All of a sudden, the more ping pong balls, the more emergence of new and incomprehensible stuff. And that stuff is the ground of... Uh, what an artist does, because an artist simultaneously looks backward and forward and lives inside the soup of the present out of which everything emerges. And I think the artist is kind of an antenna uh, that's sensitive to the stuff that's going around and then starts formulating the possible stuff.